Hi there. Welcome to the Schwoben's Nest. My name is Sandra. Thanks for joining me today. I am continuing to use my stash of goodies that I've accumulated over the last six months or so. And I picked up this Happy Valentine's Day little red truck, although it's not red, and I didn't end up using it. So I decided that I was going to do something different with it. So it has these two little hearts on it. They're little wooden hearts. I'm just using my craft knife to just peel them away. And then I'm just gonna sand down the rough spots to get it smooth for painting. I also won't need the jute string hanger for this project. And I also won't need those hearts that are in the pickup bed of this little truck. So I'm gonna take my craft knife again and just score along the lines on the front and the back and then just snap it off. This type of material is called MDF, multi-density fiberboard. And it's just a whole bunch of pieces of board or cardboard or whatever pressed together and made into somewhat of a wood. So it's really not too difficult to score and snap. I'll be giving the body of the truck two or three coats of white chalk paint. I'm using a DIY recipe chalk paint that I put together in my last video from Hot Humble Pie. I'll have her channel linked in my description box. So I'm probably gonna be using this type of paint until I can get back out to the store. The baby powder recipe is really easy and it smells fantastic, dries really quickly and I'll probably use it for just my small decor items. I'm using the same chalk paint recipe in the black acrylic paint that I'm using for the tires. They got a little messed up when I did some sanding, so I needed to clean that up. I'm also painting the rim on the truck bed and the frame around the window. I'm sticking with a more neutral look for this truck, so I'm using country gray chalk paint by Rust-Oleum for the fenders and the hubcaps. I'm going to do a buffalo check plaid on the body of the truck using the white as the base, black, and two shades of gray. So what I'm gonna do, because it's really difficult to use painter's tape on this, I'm just gonna mark off the center and then I'm just gonna draw in some lines and create my own checkerboard look just with the pencil. And then I'm gonna follow along a buffalo plaid pattern and paint the appropriate squares. I'm not doing any specific measurements, but I'm just trying to keep all of the boxes nice and square, probably using about three quarters of an inch as a guide. I started with the black squares first and I'm just freehanding this. I'm going to try and get it as straight as possible. I'm going to use my paintbrush, load it with paint and try and make the brush itself do most of the work. But if it's a little wiggly, it's supposed to be rustic. So it's okay if it's not 100% perfect. The next color I'm going to use is a medium gray. It's very similar to the chalk paint that I used for the fenders and the hubcaps, but it's just a regular acrylic paint. So here I'm showing you where the gray is going to go. It's going to be going in between the black squares. So it's going to end up being gray, black, gray, black in one vertical row and then gray black in the next vertical row then the lighter gray color will come into play for the center row for the light gray color i'm just going to grab some of the acrylic slash chalk paint in the white and just add it to the rest of that medium gray color and just lighten it up and make more of a lighter gray shade this color is going to go right next to the black. Mm -hmm. 
once the paint was all completely dry, I'm just taking a bristle brush, dabbing it into some black paint, dabbing some of it off, and then I'm just going to go over it really lightly and just distress it a little bit just so it doesn't look so squeaky clean. It actually looks a lot better once it was roughed up with a little bit of black paint. The second part of this project is using a scrap piece of wood to make a sign. And I'm going to use my white acrylic paint chalk paint recipe again and give this two coats. But I'm gonna leave these cool knots the raw wood color. I just think they're so cool. It's from a piece of Naughty Pine shelving and it was a scrap piece that I had cut. It's funny because at the store, the gentleman that was helping me said that I probably didn't want that piece because it had so many knot holes in it. And I said, no, I want that piece because it has all these knot holes in it. It just makes for really unique pieces. The words that I'm going to put on the bottom of this sign are hello sunshine. I am getting really tired of these dreary days and I'm really looking forward to the time when the sun comes out and stays out. We get it peeking through the clouds a couple of times throughout the day scattered with snow showers with rain showers so I'm really going to be happy when the sun comes out to stay. I'm hoping that hanging this sign on my front porch might make the sun come out a little bit quicker. Maybe. Probably not. But I can just give it a try, right? For the word sunshine, I'm going to do a little bit of a Ray Dunn lookalike font. I've got my iPad sitting off to the side there with an image of Ray Dunn font in the alphabet. There it is. I will try and link that down in the description box for you. And I'm just going to use my pencil and do the best I can to write the word sunshine. Once that was completed, I'm using my Craft Smart paint pen in the color black, the thick chisel tip, and I'm going to just trace over my letters. When the letters were fully dry, I decided to do some dry brushing with the black on this as well to give it the similar look as the truck. I'm going to be gluing the truck onto the top of the sign, but before I do that, I want to add some greenery and some florals. And of course, nothing is more farmhouse than a little bit of Dusty Miller that has that really pale green color and some lavender. So using my hot glue gun, I'm just going to plop a whole bunch of greenery and some lavender on the back, glue it down and try and make the truck bed look nice and full. So now I'm just going to put some hot glue down onto the tires and glue the truck right onto the sign. I'm going to leave those knots showing a little bit and I'm going to place them strategically so they do pop out a little bit because I like that rustic look of it. So normally I would use some jute rope or nautical rope, but I looked through my stash and I found this really neat black chain. So I'm going to use these little eye hooks and attach those to either side of the top of the piece of wood. What I'm doing here is just holding it and hammering it in just a little bit to give it a head start and then I'll be able to twist it in. These are two pieces of chain and I'm going to need to put them together. So I have to use two pliers to pry them open and then hook the one link into the eye on either side and then hook the chain together in the center. 
I have to admit I did struggle with this a little bit because I don't have a whole lot of strength in my hands and using these two pliers together really wasn't the best way to do it. But I finally got it figured out and got it done. I really love how this sign turned out and I can't wait to get it out on my front porch. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe by hitting that red button and click that bell to get notified when I upload new content. Thanks so much for watching.